The week of September 6 had been a very active period throughout the South Pacific Theater. In the span of five days, Allied forces engaged and destroyed two large Japanese fleets following the destruction of a third enemy fleet a week before during interdiction operations near the Shortland Islands. With so many enemy assets removed from the theater, Admiral Nimitz felt confident that little resistance would be offered as U.S. forces continued their logistical runs to Guadalcanal and the surrounding islands and sent the carrier Saratoga to Australia to repair, add additional air crews, and operate with Australian forces in the coming amphibious landings at Buna. Hello, welcome back to War on the Sea. It is September 11th, but 1942, day 36 of the campaign. It's almost 6 a.m. in the morning, and I know it's been a while since we had an episode of this series, so we'll go through what's going on presently. We have Task Force 10 here, two C-3s making their way back to New Hebrides. We have three transport fleets here they just i believe they just emptied all their cargo at rental island it looks like it and now they're probably on their way back to new hebrides yeah we have eight thousand supplies here 1600 troops almost enough to increase the the naval base here and then we're going to start working on guadalcanal because honestly this this campaign is pretty much over. It's just getting the airfield here up to level five. Now, before the episode, I did go back and check and I just looked at all the my transport fleet, basically, in the game. I have four troop carriers, uh, 11 C3s, but one of them is in dry, is in, is in dock for repair, and six Papsico, is that what they're called again? Uh, Patapsco. Uh, fueler vessels. I have six of those. We're going to buy two more because fuel... Uh, you can't carry a lot at a time and it takes a while to go places, to send it places. So we're going to do that. I'm going to split them. I'm going to send two troop transports to Australia. I think they already have one over here, I believe. No, that's the British... Or I'm sorry, the Australian uh, battle fleet. Yeah, we have one troop and one C3 and one fuel carrier. So I'm going to send another troop transport, five C3s, and two fuel ships to Australia, and then buy a couple more. And yes, I did include this task force as well. Actually, they're already on the way. So it looks like one, two, three. The two fuel ships are on their way, and I'll probably have to send maybe a couple more C-3s and a transport. At Milne Bay, we have nine, almost 10,000 troops, 15,000 supplies, if you remember, and we're stockpiling for the invasion of Buna, which will probably come as soon as I get uh, the Saratoga back from Dry Dock, and we can bring her out with the... Here it is, Task Force 32. And we're just gonna add the Saratoga to that task force. And then we're gonna bring up all the all the transport vessels. And then once we get everything ready here at Milne Bay, we'll we'll take care of Buna. What else is happening? Well, at Santa Isabel, we've almost taken the island. I think today might be the last day. We have 5,600 troops here, 8,000 supplies. As soon as this is done, we're going to begin our attack on Shoreland Islands, or at least prepare for it. Here's Task Force 2 with the Enterprise. It's lost a few planes, but still very capable. And Task Force 1, which I was hunting down a Japanese fleet, and they slipped away. I could not find them. So I guess what I'll do is I'll, I'll prepare the ships are going to go to Australia, and then just bring these back, the rest of them back to New Hebrides, and then just see what happens as we play along. So I'll, I'll be back when something interesting happens but uh, for now we're just going to keep trying to win this battle here sent to Isabel and getting supplies and troops ready 
for the invasion of Shortland Islands and Buna. All right, it's noon, and so far not a thing from the Japanese. I haven't seen anything at all. Uh, but then this came up. It looks like the Kingfish might have uh, another toy to play with. We're going to take a look. Kingfish too deep for radar. Okay. Well, we found what we're looking for anyway. And it's another cargo vessel. So, Kingfish will intercept and sink this one too. Alright, Kingfish has a 99% solution. And seeing that these torpedoes kind of suck... Um, you know, one should hit, but let's send three out. Yeah, three should be enough. 99% solution, fire. I'm not sure how extensive her damage is. I'm hoping she'll sink. Let's chase her down, though. Let's go ahead and get up to full speed. All right, we got another solution on here. We're going to send out two more. 99%, go ahead and fire. So what do we do with this this cargo vessel? We, we've 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 shot five torpedoes. We got two hits, and she's still not going down. I hate six torpedoes, and and that we don't even know if that one's gonna work. Well, let's try them one at a time, I guess, and maybe maybe we'll get lucky or not. Well, that took entirely too long. Six torpedoes to sink a freighter. Not the best record for these torpedoes, but we got it done. So we'll just retreat. I mean, that's the only action we've seen all day, so it's got to do. Okay, not too long after, a Sunderland in the North Solomon Sea spotted this lone tanker. So a little bit more target practice. Again, not much, but we got to get we got to take what we're given so let's go ahead and leave and we're right about here we'll send up some lightnings most likely to take care how far is this again i'd like to send the p39s but 300 miles i think that's a bit too far for them air cobras with no ordnance yeah let's just send up a mm, couple lightnings Maybe three. Okay, we've caught up to the freighter. Let's... Oh, what is this? That's probably the... It's probably one of those typical Japanese 
destroyer fleets that do i don't know what they do i think they just serve as target practice you know practice for the american pilots and the gunners yeah that's what they're for all right let's jump in the lightnings and go sink this freighter hopefully we can find it there she is target we're gonna go around the back side where's most of her guns she has just one gun front and back okay all right lightnings let's get down to about 300 slow down Okay, how's she doing? Let's take a look. Heavy damage, no flooding? Alright, we gotta swing around for another pass. Okay, she's going down, so it's time to go home. One more transport sunk, two more command points, and we'll have them return to base. Okay, there's some Oscars that are trying to find my Sunderland, so I sent up some lightnings to take a look. Hopefully I can catch them. They're around here somewhere. Actually, they're probably going to pop up right next to my Sunderland. There they are. Let's navigate over here a little bit and engage right there. I brought up eight lightnings and I, they probably have no more than three Oscars. Hopefully I can find them. Because oftentimes I can't. Aha, there they are. And that was that. Two blasted out of the sky. Nice work. I guess there were just two of them. Let's look at the report real quick. Uh, yeah, two aircraft. All right, let's go home, boys. All right, coming up on 9 p.m. at the end of the day, and all we have seen are those two freighters and the air combat over, well, near Buna, and that's about it. Task Force 2 with the Enterprise and 1 have been parked here all day. Nothing. Not a single... Not a sighting. Nothing. Uh, Task Force 14 with... More troops and supplies made it to Guadalcanal without incident. This is what we look like here on Guadalcanal now. 3,000 troops 
9,400 supplies to go along here. So uh, with Santa Isabel, the troops and supplies up here. So for Shortland Islands and in the, the immediate um, future, we have about 9,000 troops and 16, 17,000 supplies. That should be more than enough. So I'm going to let this run until morning. I don't expect much to happen throughout the night. And we'll see what happens in the morning. I, I, I kind of expect Santa Isabel to be ours by then. We'll see. Okay, 5 a.m. September 12th. And no, Santa Isabel is still contested. The Japanese troops here just don't want to give up. So maybe today we'll see. Uh, I, I really have no plans other than to just send out reconnaissance and see if we can find anything. We have the search aircraft all up. These two, Task Force 11 with this destroyer task force and 13. We're just sitting here waiting uh, for Santa Isabel to finish so that we can get going on Shortland Islands. Uh, you know what? I, I suppose I could just go ahead and go. I have... 3,000, although it would be nice to be able to rely on some of these if I need to for Shortland Island, so I may just wait anyway. I mean, there's no big, huge hurry to get over there. Uh, in the dockyard, we still got three more days for Saratoga. Task Force 44 is almost back to Australia. Task Force 32 is on its way. Task Force 3 with the three destroyer, the destroyer escort. And uh, let's see, these Task Force 10, I loaded up with some supplies. We're, we're coming to Rental Island. 13 is on its way. These mostly fuel, fuel ships headed back to New Hebrides. I don't have a whole lot of anything here, as you can see. It's all been like scavenged and picked up and taken to other places. So I think I have enough ships. I just don't have enough supply. So again, we're just going to be waiting on things today and looking for targets of opportunity. So I'll let you know. We'll be back when something uh, comes up. All right. Sunderland. The Sunderland picked up a Japanese. I think it was this one. Picked up a Japanese task force nearby. I think it's one destroyer. It's one that I saw the previous day and I and I ran across it again. It's just sitting out here going in circles. I'm going to go just for the fun of it. We're going to send Task Force 11 out to hunt it down and kill it if I can find it. So we're going to send it out here. Hopefully we can find it. This should be interesting. Looks like she's racing down toward we did find her and it looks like she's racing to maybe Rental Island or trying to get through our defenses to maybe attack shipping down here. I don't know, but my four destroyers are closing in on her. And again, I believe it's just, there we go. It's just one. I, I'm pretty sure it's just one destroyer. We're going to find out. We've got four here and I'll probably just let them auto attack. If we could find this destroyer. Hmm. We'll keep looking. There we go. Alright, looks like we're auto-firing. There she is, way over there. Yep, she's just a lone destroyer. But we should have most of our guns. I mean, she's in a bad position. She's... She's only got a few guns to shoot at us. We have a lot of guns to shoot at her. Why is the porter... What are, what are you doing, porter? Come over here.
Alright, let's see what kind of damage we took. This is the ship that was... The strong was the closest to the enemy, and that's generally what they what they shoot at. Uh, let's see. Just minor damage in the funnel. No damage. No damage. No damage. Just minor damage on the funnel. That's uh, pretty much amounts to nothing. Okay. Well, that'll teach them. Send out one destroyer, thinking they can get through. Yeah. Not likely. Let's go back to base. Job well done. Okay, Kingfish has caught something coming out of her ball. It says here it's just a destroyer escort. Let's begin. And I don't know if we're going to be able to see this right away. Oh, there she is right there. It is indeed... Oh, it's a destroyer. Uh, I don't know if she's coming after me. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. So, And I'm not going to waste torpedoes on a destroyer escort. So we're just going to let her go. And it looks like perhaps another fuel ship. Let's take a look right in the middle of the Solomon Sea. All by itself. This is like a repeat of yesterday. I don't understand. I mean, we're grateful for the target practice, but... Yeah. Alright, we'll launch a few more lightnings. Actually, let's see if P-38s can reach... I'm sorry, P-39s. Now, right here? Probably not. I think that's going to be a good 300 miles. Almost. We'll send up some more lightnings. Well, nothing to see here except just more Japanese fighters. They're probably Oscars. We're out in the western Solomon Sea, and there they are. They were going after my Sunderlands, and I can't have that. There's only two of them. We got four lightnings. Wow, that was wild. One lightning took out both of those Oscars and saved the other one that was, like, being chased by both of them. Very nice. All right, let's leave. I don't think we lost anything. No. Nice work. Okay, I got a few other fights coming up against ships. I got the lightnings almost... I've almost caught up to this oiler, and then I have some Sunderlands going after this possible sub over here. We'll get to that in a bit, but we're almost ready for this one. Let's go ahead and get in the lightnings and go sink us a fuel ship. Should be here. Close. There it is, right there. Uh, so we'll turn get down to the deck and strafe this thing.
Okay, another freighter down. One pass was enough. It looks like I got a, a hit, one or two hits on my lightnings, no big deal. But, um, wow. I just... This is all we've had today. I feel like we're just, like, begging for scraps from the Japanese. Can we please, can you please have your, your fleet come out and play? <laughs> we got nothing better to do. Anyway, that's all we got for this one, so... Let's go back. Maybe that's all they got left. I don't know. But, um... But we'll take it. Whatever it is, we'll take it. Okay, continuing on. I am, in case you're wondering, I was waiting. I do want to send another another fleet, another uh, run. I want to have another run from Cairns to Rental Island. But I'm waiting for Task Force 44 to arrive because I want to send some uh, elect engineering parts as well. And they have some, I think, th one, two, three C3s. And then I think we have another one here. Nah, yeah, yeah, we do. So we're going to load up a bunch of engineering and fuel and, and send it over there. Okay, Sunderlands have arrived. So we'll go tactical on them. And then right away, I'm going to pause it so I don't lose any time. Look at this. <laughs> a little flight of a bunch of Sunderlands. We're going to uh, get down to the deck really quick. Crank up the speed. And then as soon as we see, there, oh, it's right below us. What is, where is it? It is a sub. Can we get there in time? I don't know, but we'll mark it as a target and tell them to attack immediately. Well, it took a while, but the sub eventually sunk. It sat there for quite a while. It wasn't really... it. Its propulsion was out. It wasn't diving or trying to surface. And then finally it just... I guess the flooding overcame its ability to stop it, and it's gone. So we're headed back to base. Okay, another freighter, and it looks like it's probably another single freighter. Of course, we will take it out, if that's what it is. And that's exactly what it is. Alright, more target practice. We'll send some lightnings out that way right away. Okay, another ship down, another freighter down. 
took a couple passes. The first one didn't do a whole lot of damage, but the second one, she just ripped apart. Let's get out of here, too. And return to base. And again, so far, this is all we got. Just going after a few fighters and freighters. Um, so, yeah, we'll just keep plugging along. Uh, this one looks like we're almost ready. Well, we still got a few more hours for it to arrive at Cairns. But uh, we'll, we'll keep going here and see what else comes up. Okay, the task force has arrived at Cairns. We merged a couple and we took out the Macaulay. I don't need a troop transport, really. I guess I could bring supplies with me, but I don't want to do that. So we'll just load this one up with a bunch of engineering. And I'm assuming, I'm hoping we can get all of it. We could, oh, I'm sure we can get it all. Maybe not. Maybe most of it. 400, almost 500 is pretty good. That should help us a lot. See how many, how much fuel on it. Looks like we can get all of it except a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this one. Split from group. Okay, so we have a Macaulay and a Patapsco and the Task Force 44 loaded up with a bunch of engineering and fuel. And they are headed to Rental first. And then they're going to drop the rest of it off at Guadalcanal. And we also have Task Force 10, which just arrived a few minutes later. And she, they had mostly, well, most of their, this, both C3s. One was full, one was almost full. So I loaded them both up, filled them both. Basically, I added a few more supplies to the one that was not quite full. And we still have enough supplies here to to increase the port here. So as soon as the fuel gets here, we can do that. The rest of these supplies, of course, are going to Guadalcanal because we got to start uh, building up the airfield here. That's going to take a while. So we need to start doing that as well. Okay, we're in the morning of September 13th. It's almost 6 a.m. Search aircraft are up. And again, nothing yet to report. Oh, I didn't send up some search from task force one but i don't really think i'm gonna need it i haven't seen any meaningful japanese force in over a couple days kingfish i moved up a little bit closer to rabal but they haven't seen much of anything either i think oh what have we got here encounter uh, another one another let's take a look at this but again, likely it's going to be another lone freighter somewhere out here in the Solomon Sea. And there she is. Okay. Let's launch. How far out is she? Right about here? Maybe let's get something from Milne Bay. I mean, the pilots there are itching for some action. I could do... Ooh, I guess the bow fighters. Yep, the bow fighters would be best. Let's do four of those. Uh, no... No, I don't think we need bombs. Let's just see how this works. Let's launch them. We'll just strafe. And get over there and take care of those. But other than that, it's pretty quiet. Okay, the bow fighters have arrived. I want to get them a little closer. So we don't... Oh, we have to go. Let's ignore. Get a little bit closer. There we go. And we'll go tactical now. Start. And let's get down to... About 400 feet. Something like that. And wow, we're right on top of that thing. Let's go ahead and attack now. Attack!
Okay, target sunk. That was pretty simple, easy to do. Just point and shoot. Let's retreat, and two more command points. How many do we have now? We have 25. I think, okay, I had 20, and then I spent 14 on... So I had, uh, okay, under 10, and now I'm back up to over 25, just from sinking a bunch of freighters. Nice, let's have the uh, bow fighters head home. And then, what else do we have going on? We have, I think, was that it? Was that all? Was there something else? All right, 10 a.m. in the morning, Task Force 10. Was it 10? 10. Has arrived. We're going to unload all the cargo here. And let's see what we got in Guadalcanal. 3,100 troops, 12,000 supplies. All right, so... I think we're going to leave Task Force, let's see, we got 11 here, 10 and 13, we have 10 and 13, I think we're just going to leave them here, because I really, really expect, I mean, this needs to be, this needs to be over today, I'm hoping this ends today, and then we can get ready and going for the invasion of Shortland Islands, we'll see how that goes, but for now, we're just, we're just waiting. Interesting, we, I just saw this aircraft, this enemy aircraft, just popped up right here. So we might have another carrier in the area. We're going to launch... Well, I was thinking about now, let's just launch... I mean, it looks like they're going after my Sunderlands. Uh, I don't think the Lightnings are going to get there in time. Do I want to launch some fighters? Let's see where they're going. Yeah, I don't know. They're, they're headed in this direction. Maybe, how many, I have, well, let's just launch some Wildcats, I guess. They're a little closer. Yeah, we'll, we'll just launch some Wildcats. Four of the Wildcats. And then let's see if we can catch up to them and see what they are. All right, just as I launched, right after I launched the Wildcats, we just got notification that enemy troops have been defeated at Santa Isabel. Santa Isabel is finally ours. Finally! Finally, ours. Excellent. So, okay, we have 5,600 troops here. I think there was 3,000 here. So that's 87, 8,800 troops. 12,000 supplies. 18,000 supply. More than enough. I'm going to start loading up. But I do want to see what this is first. Because that may be... That may be a threat that we have to deal with first. Yeah, they're definitely going after the Sunderlands. So I might lose a Sunderland here. What's my range of my wild? Well, my wildcat show. Whoa, whoa, here they come. Here they come. This could be interesting. Let's see what we got here. Come on over. Let's see what you are. Excellent. Let's go tactical. I'm really curious to see if these are zeros. Okay, well, we'll retreat. Can't find them. They're here somewhere, so we'll... I think we'll just kind of... They were heading this direction, so... I think we'll, what we'll do is something like this. And maybe we'll spot them as they try and head... It looks like maybe they were heading to Task Force 1. Not sure. There they are. Stop. Let's see if we can do this again. Because I really, I need to know what these are. I have to. And it looks like they're going to outrun me now. Great. Oh, wait, here they come. I can say we're right on top of them. Let's go tactical. Visibility 76. And again, nothing. Very annoying. Very. I'm going to keep trying until we hopefully get them. Alright, we finally found them. Oh, it's just one. It is a zero. Where did this guy come from? 
I think that only means one thing. There may be another carrier around. That would be fabulous, though. We could use some more bombing practice. There they are. Coming in for the kill. All right, I couldn't catch up to him. He was a little bit faster than me. Um, we got into basically just ran away. And he's, he's about five miles an hour faster than me. So I'm going to go ahead and launch. I mean, as a zero, where the heck did it come from? And there's got to be another carrier around here. So we're going to launch a few Catalinas, I guess. And go look in this area. I think there may be, may be a carrier there. So let's go take a look. All right, here's another one coming from this direction. I scratched the Catalina idea because I think they're going to take a little too long to get over there. And I want to know what it is right away. So I'm sending over the Wildcats to take a look. And I'm not going to bother. Whoa, here's another one. So let's take a let's see if we can search around here. It's got to be right in this area somewhere. Okay, it looks like the Mariner found it, actually. The Mariner from Santa Cruz found it. I can't believe... Well, the Zero went out that far. I guess they do have some pretty good range. Eight ships, one light carrier. Let's take a look. That's a little far out, though. I, I may just, like, let them hang out there until they decide to come a little closer. Let's take a look and see what we got. Oh, there they are. Whoa! Okay. Another fairly large fleet. I'm guessing these are destroyers here, yes. And let's see, what is this here? Another ba another battleship and a flat top, it looks like. That is definitely a light carrier. I'm going to take a look and see which one this is. Okay, it looks like the uh, Zuiho class, light carrier. That's what it is. What's her complement of planes? 15 zeros, 6 vowels, 9 kates. Got it. And I'm assuming she's accompanied by some heavy cruisers. Yep. And... And some transports. What is she doing way out here? Transport back here. Yep. And... Heavy cruisers. Okay. So, yeah. What is she doing way over here? She's in this area. I'm sorry, but the Battle of uh, Midway is already over. And you lost. Okay, so they're way out here. We will just keep... What time is it? It's 1335. Well, what we'll do then is we'll start moving Enterprise. Uh, mm, I guess we'll move her out this way and have her head in that direction task force one same but I'm gonna wait until enterprise catches up and then we'll move as a group and then yee, let's see if we have we need to keep an eye on her she was way out here right um, hmm we have a couple of Catalinas here that we could send over, or we could maybe launch something from... We have... Uh, might as well just... We already got the Catalinas up here. Let's go ahead and just send them over here and see if we can keep track of that task force, and I'll probably launch one from here as well. Maybe a couple. So I'm going to give you a guess as to what the Sunderland encountered in the Coral Sea. Time's up. Another fuel ship, it looks like. Let's take a look. There she is over there. Come on, you can see her. Yep, another fuel ship. We will go after her also. Right here, lightnings should be able to intercept that pretty easily. 
I mean, they've been pretty busy today. Let's send up four more. Go take care of that. I do have also a bunch of of these are these are the two mariners that came out of Santa Cruz just on their normal patrols. Uh, but I have a bunch of other Catalinas come in mariners coming over there to uh, keep track of this. This is where I last saw it, uh, which is re weird. Why it would be that far out there? Maybe it's trying to do a kind of a a, <laughs> a maneuver like this where they come around this way. That'd be kind of interesting, but I doubt it. I think they're lost. We're going to have to uh, show them the way. Okay, it looks like Sunderland may have come across another task force up here. It says it might be a light cruiser, but I, I kind of doubt it. But if it is, I want to know right away. All right, looks like we finally got it. And uh, it's going to be the destroyer. Yeah. Oh, no, no. That is a light cruiser. Okay. There's a target worthy of going after, finally. So what do we want to send after that one? We have at Milne Bay. We have not a whole lot. Let's send something from Port Moresby. We could send the Mitchells. Hmm. How far can the Beauforts go? 491 miles. They could probably reach. Hmm. It'd be close. I don't know if the Mitchells can actually do it all. But we're going to send them up. Uh... AP bombs, 12, no, no, two, I'm sorry, two. Two 1600 AP bombs. We'll send them all. Done. Get them going. Over here, and I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, if it'll let me, I might have to wait. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait for a little bit, but in a few minutes, where were the lightnings going? Oh, that's right. They're going to go strafe that other freighter. Can I send up the Beauforts? Oh, well, maybe I can send them from Milne Bay. No, they're bow fighters. I need Beauforts. So we'll send up the Beauforts, all nine of them, and what do we want to arm them with? Hmm. One AP bomb. Yeah, the bomb is 491. Yeah, I think we're going to go with torpedoes. Because these are British torpedoes. So let's send them up as well. And get them over there. And I think that's it. I think I'm going to leave the episode here. So we have something to look forward to next time. So we have the light, cruise, the, the light carrier up here. Task Force. We're going to go check it out. Keep traffic of it. And close in with Enterprise and Task Force 1. Hopefully... I mean, they're pretty far out here. I don't know if they can dodge me coming back, but I'm hoping to get into a, a good surface engagement here with that task force after I beat up on them with Enterprise's aircraft a little bit. And then we got a couple targets over here to go after when we come back. So that's going to be fun. But thanks for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again next time.